I absolutely love plus 550 on the Stanley Cup future for the Stars to win the Cup. So I'm with you on one end, and I'm against you on another. So I'll go with the way that I'm with you. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Today's probably the last day, especially if Dallas wins tonight, it's the last day you're going to see anything above five and a half to one for Dallas. Yeah. That number drops. I would say also watch to see what happens with that Panthers number. That Panthers number stays at plus 105. Then I think the odds makers don't think that anything really changes in terms of their chance to win. If Dallas wins game seven and they're the ones going to the Stanley Cup uh, against Florida, if that number still stays at 105 for, for the Panthers, and this is where I think that number may actually grow in terms of odds, it may get a little higher, is because in hockey, I don't really buy the rust as much because mm. getting rest off of your skates is different than getting rest off of naturally running basketball or baseball, right? Baseball, yeah, right. you can see a little bit of the rust because a 100-mile-an-hour pitch coming at you, you want to consistently be in that exercise. But in hockey, that's the one sport that you really need, need to heal. It's only second in concussions to football. So guys that have taken shots, you, you're on skates, you, you know, your legs are really working harder than any other sport because you're not flat on your feet. I know this may, I'm not a doctor, but I watch a lot of them on television, <laughs> but I do know skates operate different than sneakers, sneakers right? So I, I, I still like Florida to have the advantage because they are getting the rest. 